What's up, y'all? Happy Thursday to you. As you know, another day of trade, man. Ain't nothing new. Another Thursday, another week, man. All right, let's get to it. <clears throat> Think of if there any uh dra drastic <clears throat> dra drastic stock trades I made that I need to tell y'all about. Uh, I did add two new um, Yield Max ETFs. Uh, mo these monthly players pays out a high, uh, a high, a high yield. If y'all watched my video on yesterday, I put out. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And I'm going harder, more aggressive on the uh, the Yield Max, the e the ETFs. Um, I'm gonna tell y'all the one I think is Misty M I M S T Y is the ticker. And it's another one, uh, AII. They do options on uh, artificial intelligence. And I added another one, ULTY. They do options on uh, U U utilities. But as I go through my stocks, I'll um, show you what I'm talking about. All right, account balance at $43,193.55, down $130. Bucks. Buying power $7,233.28. <clears throat> Crypto Bitcoin, let's see what it do. 69,996 is knocking at the door 70 grand. Look like the market might be pricing this stuff in. But time will tell. Tomorrow is Friday, Friday. The most the vulnerable and volatile trading days of the week is Mondays and Fridays. So we'll see how tomorrow turn out. Let's get on through it, man. Um MPW pulling back, but it's still holding. Long as it holds above that four dollar range, is good. Looks like it might have dipped to three ninety seven. <clears throat> it's not bad. That's a long term hold. So let that one rock out. Um, banks look like it's pulling back, but not in my buy range yet. So gonna let those slide for now. Got P set. Uh, ticket P E P S C C Prospect Capital 544. This will buy at 550 and none, especially between the 550 and 530 range. Today's low was 542. I got buy orders placed, but I said I will buy at least two shares of this a day. The dollar cost average in it. I am setting this up for a swing trade, so if you want to join me, 442. <clears throat> Accumulating shares slow, slow, slowly. That's like ten, ten dollars a day in this stock. It does pay out a monthly dividend of six cents a share. So as you are holding these shares and waiting to do what you want to do, whether the swing trade or long term hold, you got it. Uh, AGNC is in buy range. I think it got down to day to nine twenty three or nine twenty four. So I am buying some of that because I need to come down in this stock too. 9.24. I'm going to get another five shares at that price. This does pay out a consistent 12 cent a share every month. Nice stock to swing trade also. 52 week low is at, 52 week high is, is at 1064. It got a low at like six dollars and something around a seven dollar range. Let's see. Dang, right? 681. I doubt if you ever see those numbers again. I mean, this market, if you see those numbers again, things are real very, very bad for the economy. IP international paper. I want some more of that. But too high. Got new tech. I put a buy order in for this. I need the dollar cost average down in this one. I have a buy order in at 1106 for five shares. I'm buying five shares every week. After I do the charting, I'm going to see what price I want to get in at. But I got it at 1105 and 20 at 1015. It might have filled. I thought I had another buy order in somewhere. Let's see. Nope, it didn't, but um, dividend pending, P 
Pay 19 cents a share quarterly. Excuse me, not bad for the yield. But I will be buying five shares a week at a price, <clears throat> at a uh, weekly low. I'm going to go out seven days and see what the low was and put an order in for five shares there. And that's how my dollar cost averaging that versus buying it every day. I can get it at that weekly low. Leg and plat. You know, we got to get some of that. Get my $5 worth. I'm hoping that the dividend is good. I'm hoping they're able to sustain it. I'm hoping this stock will turn around. Because it might be one I might be willing to get out of. Because this stock has really been sucking for the last couple of years. <clears throat> Our tree at 41.48. Know this is a um, long time term hold here. Paid, paid a dividend of 98 cents a share. Got 3M, that's a long-term hold. Got to get some of that. I like that at 93 and under. Need to lower my average cost. At 99.74 now. I hope it goes back down to the $90 or $89 range with just one more again. So I can, I'm probably going to chunk about 200 bucks at it. And then those 200, once you make it above the 100 mark, I sell it. But um, 3M is a long-term hold, hold That's something you can buy and hold and don't have to worry about no dividend or anything with that one. <clears throat> Wine Electric, I like that. I like to buy a share every day at um, 11 and under. Today, 1055. About to roll with that. About to put a share in on that. 10.55. Get a shell. <clears throat> Do that. I like 1071 too. Just in case it don't go back down to the 1055. Let me get the 1071 and lock that in. Um, That's going to be a swing trade too. I have some put up. In my cash out portfolio, average cost of 12 bucks, so I really don't have to bother that one. I'm going to wait and see if it pulls back more. If it pulls back a lot more, then I could start spending more on that one. CHMI. It's time for you to average averaging down in this one, too. You know when the reach set, when the interest rate cuts start to happen. <clears throat> These will start coming down. Another one, Ellerton Financial. I've got some buy orders in on that. Those two at the um buying five shares a week at the weekly low. So at the end of this week, I will put a order in for another five shares. Got next capital. Where I'm at? Thirteen sixty-two. Eleven fifty-two. I can add a share of this on every day. <clears throat> this pays the um monthly um dividend of thirteen cent. I want to see. I'll show you right now. Thirteen cent a share. Dividend year of 13.36. Shumera at 407. Uh, not 4, what that is. Yeah, 407. <clears throat> what are we looking at? Global net lease. Oh yeah, baby coming down. Hell yeah, excuse me, my French got to get that. Nice dividend pay.
making a list of some stuff I need to start buying, five shares every week to lower my average cost. See, I'm serious about cleaning up my portfolio. Pet Med Express, gonna get $3 of that. Knock down dollar cost average slowly down in that one. Where else we going? I like land charge point. Charge point went down to like 163 today. Get me five dollars worth of that. Give me about two shares. 1.63. It's a long term hold. Three shares under five dollars. There we go. We can ride out with that. Hopefully that order get filled. Get on through this trade. Junk junk bond is a nice stable um thing to buy if you're looking for some safe passive income. <clears throat> Pays out a year at around seven percent. Check that out for you. Nine seven point four. Get twenty dollars of that, and that's a monthly pay. Now remember, show you the fifty-two week low. Got a fifty-two week low, eighty-seven eighty. Fifty-two week high, ninety-five fifty-nine. So it ranged between that that range there, and um, man, it very. I it's, it's hard to really catch that below ninety bucks, man. To be honest, charge point pulling back some more. I like that. One thirty-five. Long term hold. Y'all want to join me on the swing trade? Train trade, come join me. I get five shares of that, piecing it together. <clears throat> this will easily go to at least two, at least two dollars. Always swing trade that. To get out, to get to get your money back. Make a couple you no know, dollars in profits. Take a ABR, Arbor Realty. I want to load up on this at twelve bucks. I'm going to buy shit. Damn. Today's low 11.96. They go my ticket right there. Here we go. 11.96. Then I have a buy. Let me make sure my buy order ain't trigger, man. I could have swore I had an order in here for that. See the dividend. We got to get that eleven ninety six price. I got to get that. Hell to the year eleven ninety six. I thought I had about what in at twelve bucks. Eleven point nine six. Get twenty shares. Get 20 shares at 11.96. You can rock with that. And I'm going to get $5 right now. Where is that? Just in case. <clears throat> Where else we going at? Oh, let me look at Arbor real quick. See the 52 week low. This plays out a nice dividend also. 13.86% 13 13 yield. P.E. ratio at a 7. It means it's undervalued. 52-week low is 10.10. <clears throat> Redwood Trust pulling back some more. R-W-T. Think about this money. You cannot time the market, so you need to be buying now while it's low. Cause you waiting for it to go down. All it is, all it takes for people to just get comfortable and price and price and price the market in, and the market gonna fly, gonna go back up, and they gonna just have to accept. It's the way I 
uh, accept, accept it and swallow down the bullet, just knowing these interest rates are going to be up for a while. And that's the new norm. And the fast and as soon as they get that through their thick old skull, that <clears throat> all that inflation and these prices for gas and all, man, this is the norm, bro. Y'all going to have to get out there and hustle. That's why they say right now, being single is a luxury. Meaning being, being to live single is all that in a bag of chips. Because the average person cannot afford to pay their high, they high rent or mortgages for the people that do have you know, these high uh, mortgages. The ones that don't have the, the interest rate of a, 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 a 4% a four or lower. <clears throat> Meaning these new home 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 buyers that probably had to have two um incomes to to even get the to even get the loan. Yeah, they um being single right now is a luxury. Like now I am I am single. Hang up handle everything alone. Don't need no woman for nothing, but I'm forty one. I brought I brought my house when I was twenty twenty six. Today's low 25, 24. Yep, this one here keep going down. Let me get another share of that. Yeah, I told I'm going in on my monthly pairs. It pays out monthly. Um, ARR just came on down. It came down to 18.23 today. I'm buying one share of this every day because I need to lower my average cost in this portfolio. I got like five portfolios with this stock in it. Because this was a good paying stock way back, way back in the day, man. But it's time for me to Clean these up. I'm going to keep one portfolio with it in it for a long-term hold. But I'm thinking about subbing this out for AGNC. And I'm going to get five bucks of this today. Right now, where's that? Just in case. And I will be, so all this stuff I'm buying under 19 bucks, I will be selling once it get up to the high 19 $20 mark to get my money back. ARR is a good stock to swing, swing, swing trade. Only if you know the patterns of it. <clears throat> Sixty forty one for Walmart. This the uh, monthly paying bond here. Twenty fifty seven. Fifty two low twenty forty nine. Today low twenty forty nine. I'm buying one of these two. 20.49. Let me get one. Pays out 20 cents a month. Um. Alright, these are the new ones I was talking about for y'all that made it to the end of the video. You'll know A-I-Y-Y. -Y. This one here is the new year max ETF. M-S-T-Y. There's another one. This paid out last, man. M-S-T-Y paid out last month like $4.26. Gladstone. Did a reverse stock split, which is not bad for the company. And that's what it is for the day. All I'm doing, sorry for the long video, but this market is volatile and it's time for you to buy. Go get your money.